my bum. Ah, I don't know how hard I try. I can never get buff, right? I always wanted like the six pack and the, the pecs, right? The fucking biceps. Oh, it's just not for me, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's important I work out, but I never got the buff body, right? I should like get a trainer or something. I don't know. Anyways, today I wanted to get into a drill that I like to do for clinching practice. Now, uh, today I was doing some clinching with some multi-person, like two-on-one, and that's not a good idea, okay? Uh, you can beat up that way. The moment I'm tied up, other dudes like, bang, 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 and it sucks. Okay, um, we should do a two-on-one uh, video. You know, that reminds me, like, so I was talking to a friend the other day, he was like, he was like dude, jiu-jitsu is the best martial art of all time in space and like in, in the world, in the galaxy. I was like, yeah, but what if you're fighting multiple attackers? Dude, you can't fight multiple attackers. No, I, I know, well, why would you do it using jiu-jitsu? Dude, it, even if, there's no reason to even practice fighting multiple because nobody in their mind can ever do more than one person. So that, therefore, every other martial art sucks and jiu-jitsu is the best. And I was like, bro, like, so what you're saying is you shouldn't train to ever fight multiple attackers. You see how many people get jumped out there, right? Uh, with that kind of mentality, you shouldn't be training at all because if you can stop yourself from fighting multiple attackers, more than one person, you should be able to stop yourself from fighting one person. Right? 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 Am I right? Am I right? Come on. So, wait a minute. That's not what the video, okay. The video's not about fighting multiple people. It's about how to get into clinch. There's reasons to get into clinch. Clinching is important, especially on one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Um, so, stop arguing with me, okay? You don't know everything. Okay, you may think you do, but you don't, okay? Fucking empty your goddamn cup and learn something. Here we go. My good friend Caleb here, wearing this awesome shirt, Everything is Martial Arts, okay? Martial Arts Rebellion, is it .com? .com, check them out, buy them, support the cause, you know you want to, come on. Check Kick down a little bit of change. Um, I just became a salesman right there. So punch me in the face. Punch, oh shit, I was just kidding, dude. Nice. Oh. Just joking. Okay. Um, so, as one way we like to get into clinch, and what you'll see with a lot of this, uh, some of my favorites nowadays is underhook. Good. So, uh, you would want to get a wizard there. Under. There you go. Good. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Don't do this. If, if someone does this when you get into this clinch, you just take their back. Okay. Um, so you'll see a lot of two on one here. You'll see some body lock sometimes in front. Right? When it happens in front, I'll check this arm here because I don't want to get punched in the face. Sometimes in the back, if I got my body lock here, I'm going to have my head behind the shoulder. I'm going to be in tight. Okay? I mean, some of my other favorites, you know, the classic tie clinch, uh, the, uh, what's this one called? Tie clinch. Uh, neck tie. Neck tie? Collar tie. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, into bicep control. So we're going to get into this position using something we call six count blocking. Now the idea here is, is Caleb's going to throw whatever he wants, straight, roundhouse, kick, whatever. And during that time, I'm going to try to find the best time for me to get a good clinch, okay? Um, now, maybe during the six, I won't get a clinch. Who knows, okay? But the idea is to try to get it. And you want to get it uh, during the six, if you can, okay? So he comes in, I'm gonna keep my covers, boom. There's one, bow, okay, I got a good clinch. Good, he comes in, and you notice too, guys, we're not going as fast as we can here, okay? Um, you can stop when I get the clinch, okay? Um, we're going at a space, space, a pace, where we can learn from, okay? Is that a way we're gonna fight? No, it's not the fucking way we're gonna fight, okay? But it's the way we learn. If you have a better way to do it, Please leave it in the comments. I, you know what, I, I do this like people are arguing with me, and nobody ever is. <laughs> I'm arguing with myself most of the time, okay? I'm never good enough in my mind, never, ever. I'm always like a step down and I need to step the fuck up in my mind. You're perfect just the way you it's, are. Got, it's got me where I am, You're you know? What is your fuel, what is your fuel? My fuel is, is I'm pathetic and I suck, OK? 
okay? So I try to be better all the time, okay? It's what works for me. Anyways, he's coming, boom. Now, maybe I don't get it when I want, right? Maybe I have to adapt, oh, what's coming? Oh, what's coming? So I didn't get it there, that's okay. I kept myself safe, I kept my covers. Another thing, guys, when we have our gloves on, uh, I suggest that you do a little something from time to time without gloves on, especially if you're training street self-defense uh, for the streets, because when we have our gloves on, right? Let's do this, hold on. Right. So when we have our gloves on, I got nice big puffy shields to block with. Okay, go ahead, throw some strikes. Boom, look at this. I got my nice puffy helmet to wear. Okay, boom, boom, boom. He can't get through this. I'm a badass, okay? Good, now put your MMA gloves on. Okay, so now we have smaller gloves on. His are a little bit bigger than mine, but I'll get the point across. So uh, go ahead and throw some strikes. I'm gonna work my defense. Now you see how much closer my hands are together? I gotta keep that tighter, right? Boom, 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 boom. Now my blocking and my covers are a little bit more tighter, and I'm still, even when I'm blocking, I'm feeling a little what-what here, right? Good, take your gloves off. Now, if I do that same kind of cover here, look, knuckles, look, head. He just fucking forearms me like he's uh, WWF. Boom, go ahead, right about, boom. Not here, here. Go ahead, boom, like this. Bah, okay, that forearm, hurts. I know, do it. Boom, you just didn't do what I asked you to do. There you go, you go ahead, forearm, boom, there, good. I'm still gonna get, if someone comes, your knuckles are on your temple like this, rah, okay? Still gonna get fucking knocked out probably, maybe. It could happen, I don't know, who knows really. Still gonna hurt, because I got my knuckles up here. So when we don't have our gloves on, now my guards come a little bit bigger, okay? Because I don't wanna punch myself in the face with my own knuckles, or I'm gonna have open hands up against my head here, okay? Now we can get back to the regular drill. We're, we should do a video about that whole whole thing. So he comes, uh, boom, but I might try to meet him out here, right? Boom, boom, get my clinch. Ah, no. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it got me. Okay. So, in closing, work your clinching positions, okay? It's important, it's very important. If I'm safe here, you can't reach me, that's great. But I need to be safe here as well, okay? Now, how do we do that? Well, how I do it, is I tie, tie him up, and I try to get the dominant position to start doing my work, okay? And this is uh, one of the ways we like to do it here. Six count blocking into clinch position, all right? Good, you got anything to add to that? Um, I like what you said about wearing gloves versus not wearing gloves. Yeah, uh-huh. I would also practice clenching while wearing gloves just because it's more challenging and you have to work harder to get things and you'll know if you're really doing it right. <laughs> Maybe it's just harder, so I like to do things the hard way sometimes. Cool, yeah, you do everything the hard way. It's awesome. It's <laughs> strong. Cool, thanks guys. Thank you, Caleb.